The Bible is a containment tool. I am sorry to have to point it out, but the facts around what you've been told to believe without question don't add up. What if, what if I could just plonk Jesus down in front of you now and you go like, she's not lying mate, please listen to her. They've bloody been shafting you all this time and people like her want to help you. I wanted to help you and I didn't die and that's it. We don't follow his teachings. His major teachings was money is the opposite of God and money is exactly what our world is run on. Our world has gone down shit creek because we did just believe these people because we've got good hearts and we couldn't comprehend that we would be shafted. Why would we? Because that's not what we're like. But these people have known how to control us for all of this time. I'm sorry, John, but it's the bloody Freemasons. And it goes way back to right at the beginning of time when we were created. The secrets of us, our place in the universe and all sorts like that were left on the planet. They needed for us to see something, to know that we are of an alien race, right? So that we didn't have to trust somebody. We could go to that knowledge, right? Most of the ancient structures, Stonehenge and whatever, we have no idea how they did it then. We're, we're stretched half the time to be able to do it ourselves now. So how did they do it with their bare hands? And more importantly, why did they stop doing it with their bare hands if it was that impressive? You know, why did we go through a whole thing where people didn't do that? All around the world, the most ancient structures are made of stone. The one in Puma Ponku has like a millimetre wide, straight as you bloody well please, groove, dug in it. It looks like it's been done with a laser and it probably bloody well has. The reason that we think that that's, that we're not anything to do with aliens is because they've extensively educated us to believe so. To laugh at each other if we even mention it. But how do you explain that? with primitive tools, a laser straight line, one mil deep and one mil thick. Come on. But we've been controlled and we've been lied to by people who with the God's knowledge in their hands. Now, I speak about Thoth a lot because I was kind of called to Thoth, not the other way around, because I didn't know who we were before I bloody well dreamt him dreamt that he was coming and that there was a big old shake-up and everybody was shitting themselves or, and I'm trying to just spread a bit of love and say it's okay. And that's how my life has panned out since then. The whole point is I'm trying to, I'm filming this as I go along so that you can see how shit I am as I start out. You can see how much I'm learning as I go along. I didn't know all this stuff about the Freemasons this time last year. Watch I've asked questions and I've been answered and the Freemasons themselves say that it's about working to evolve that bit. Jesus says in the Bible, don't think about what you're going to say, don't write it down, just speak your mind as it comes out because that's when you get to communicate with the other. Like please, just listen to what I have to say. I want to take nothing away from you. I want to give you the bit that they've ensured you've not got for all this time, for their own ends. Apart from anything else, you laugh, right? I do anyway. I gip, actually. I have a gippy feeling if I say Freemasons. It's, it's, a, it's a comedy word now. Illuminati made that a comedy word, you know, put it in Tomb Raider and stuff like that. And they've done all this with the lost symbols. Genius. You know what I mean? They've done all these debunking programs and made it look like anybody who ever says that the Freemasons have secret knowledge is a fool, is lying, or is crazy. But this is how they've done it this whole time, by telling us, by going, you see this remote control? If you tell me for the rest of your life that this is a beef burger, you ain't got to do no. You can live your life however you like.
you can let people suffer when really you can do something about it just by going no is a remote control Tony Robinson the man is a barefaced liar I never did read the Da Vinci Code because I thought it was a load of nonsense right because Tony Robinson had told me it was you know what I mean this stuff works it this happened to me a conspiracy theorist my friend John in America um, said that apparently the Da Vinci Code was like at least 80% true. It's like, well, I, so I, I basically had the wrong information. I thought that it was all a nonsense, the Da Vinci Code, because Tony Robinson had been paid to tell me. So I missed out on a whole book there. Millions of people, right? That program with Tony Robinson will be, be the only thing they know about Freemasonry. They'd have tuned into that because that's what they had the time to do in the day. They like Tony Robinson or whatever. Oh, well, let's watch that. They're going away. They're going to tell people the set of facts that Tony Robinson told them, right? And he didn't tell them any facts. He just said, you are wrong. Oh, the best one, the man said to him to explain the symbology. Oh, these were just stock images that were available to anybody at the time. This is like the, uh, it's on about the di designing of the dollar bill and that major stuff. Saying these were stock images, like he'd gone to clip art. And, and then, right, Tony Robinson, it started, he sat there with his man, he said, so... Do you think it's possible to wear a human heart? Ha ha ha! They both cracked up laughing, right? And I thought, I've heard that somewhere bleeding before. You know what I mean? I thought, that's tough. After thinking, like, oh yeah, I've got that printed out somewhere. That would be cool, because I'd be able to cross-reference it. Yeah. Right? With Tony Robinson. I went to the toilet that night, um, and there was a big folder on the floor this folder here right and i just had this urge to pick it up and let it fall where it may which i did and it fell open like that far through so near the back and i started reading there his roles in egyptian myth mythology were many thoth served as a mediating power especially between good and evil making sure neither had a decisive victory over the other he also served as scribe of the gods, credited with the invention of writing and alphabets, i.e. In the underworld, Duat, he appeared as an ape on the god of equilibrium, who reported when the scale, scales weighing the deceased's heart against the feather, representing the principle of Matt, was exactly even. Um, but there's no reason it's not sticky on that page. There's no, I mean, I can't even find the bloody thing with that, to be fair. But there are hundreds of pages in there, right? And I'd asked for that particular, right? And the best thing about it, 20th of the 3rd, 2008. This was what I printed off when I got up in the morning. The very first thing, the Wikipedia thing. This was the very first thing I ever learned about for. And it came to me like that. I am not making this shit up. I'm, I'm nearly there to get in it so that I can put together the facts in such a small handleable bundle inescapable and then we can actually you know do something about it laughing at people that's what they've programmed you to do why do we as a species drag people down if they have an independent thought because we've been bred from the age of four to believe a nonsense as the truth. These people are geniuses because they've kept wonderful stuff from us, right? Now, there's no shame in you not knowing that up to now. But I think that there is some judgment coming and what you've been taught by these people is a nonsense and I just want you to see that so that you really can save yourselves because it's that comes down to light and darkness you know what i mean it's not what you believe in it's whether you have love in your soul that will get you to heaven